brand new iPhone Pro Max 12 with these four easy steps. Step 1. Subscribe to ING YouTube channel. Step 2. Click the notification bell. Step 3. Share one episode of Your Money Matters on Facebook and tag three friends using the hashtags Hashtag IMG Your Money Matters Hashtag I Am Great iPhone 12 Pro Max Giveaway Hashtag IMG Official Channel Step 4. Visit img-corp.net slash iPhone 12 P Max and fill out the giveaway registration form. The lucky winners will be raffled during the live premiere of the last episode of Your Money Matters Season 3. Watch and share this with your family and friends now to get a chance to win. Good luck! Your money matters. That's why we have this show. In this season, we've put together the best financial experts in the country to teach you all you need to know so you can grow your wealth, fulfill your dreams, and make an impact in the world. Hi everybody! Welcome to Your Money Matters! I'm your host, Risa Singson Kaupeng. Build a second income. Don't rely on what you have right now. Understand, uh, recognize, accept that we need to uh, we need to upgrade our financial strategy. If you're not adaptive and you're not flexible, then whether there's pandemic or not, you'll really have difficulty. Prosperity begins in the mind before it goes to your pocket. The intersection between passion, potential, and peso. If you can combine those three elements, I think you will be in the right track. Join us every week as we learn and apply money strategies to prosper your life. New episodes stream every Wednesday, 8 p.m. Philippine time. Hi everybody! Welcome to Your Money Matters! I'm your host, Risa Singson Kaupeng, and I'm coming from the Philippines, Manila, Philippines. And you know, we've been having thunder and lightning and rains here. And as kids, di ba karamihan sa atin, ewan ko sa inyo, pero ako, di ba, nakakatakot yung kidlat at kulog, di ba? Bakit? Uh, because it reminds us maybe of destructive storms or even scary blackouts. Naisip ko, um, you know, ganun din siguro when it comes to our financial life. When storms come, it can be scary unless you know that the roof over your head can protect you. At kaya naman meron tayong mga programa kagaya nito na Your Money Matters. Because we want, uh, you know, we want to arm you with knowledge and practical steps and tools that you can use to build a strong financial foundation that can stand storms and rainy days. Kaya kahit nakiblat at kulog pa yan, o gaya ngayon na may pandemya, we're assured that our financial future is secure. So please do subscribe to our channel, click the notification bell, so that every time uh, we stream a new episode, you will get alerted. Oh, this episode is gonna be really, really good. Bakit? Because our guest is one of the most sought-after speakers, not just in inspirational or the Catholic realm, but also in financial circles. He really needs no introductions. But let me say that I knew this guy when he was still a poor missionary o clue na yan, ha? and I kind of witnessed his transformational journey from being a poor missionary with a Franciscan spirit to a successful businessman and a very good steward of God's blessings. Ang guest po natin ay walang iba kung hindi si Brother Bo Sanchez. And you know, I credit him for coming up with the, you know, what we call as the theology of money. It sounds heretic, ano? Yung parang theology of money. Ano? Meron ba yan? Theology of money? 
Pero sa totoo lang, kahit na ang pinakabanal na santo at santo papa man yan, ay kailangan ng pera. So Bo really inspired many good people to steward the wealth that God has um, entrusted to them. Kaya naman we're able to do so much good through our mercy ministries and beyond. Hindi ko pa nasabi yung pangalan niya. Hindi ko pa ba nasabi? <laughs> Si Bo Sanchez po ang kasama natin ngayong gabi. Or today, he will be with us one-on-one. Pag-uusapan natin why the turtle always wins and other positive attitudes that make you truly rich. Kaya ano, excited na ba kayo? Ako excited na. So let's go! Palagay mo. What percentage of people who trade in the stock market consistently make money? A. 80% B. 10% C. 90% D. None And the answer is B. 10% Only 10% of those who trade in the stock market consistently make money. 80% lose money and the remaining 10% break even. And we're back! And ito na, as promised, let's welcome Brother Bo Sanchez. Hi, Bo! Hi, Riz! <laughs> <laughs> Thank How are you. you? Thank you so much. Hi, great, great. Thank you for inviting me and hello, everybody. So good to be here. Yay! Okay, um, Bo, you know, many people have already read your books, um, but for those who haven't, uh, can you tell us about your transformation in your um, finance journey? Because I think there are many out there who need to make this pivot in their financial life too. And, and you know, I, uh, in the intro, I mentioned that uh, I knew you since you were... Uh, Uh, you know, from being the poor missionary to the you know successful business um, man that you are now. Yes, I, I love sharing th- this story, Riza, to anyone who would care to listen. And it's really that, that I came to know Jesus in a very personal way when I was 12 years old. It was a spiritual conversion and I gave my life to Him. And then 13 years old, I read the story of St. Francis of Assisi. Isang taong naging beggar for the Lord. Uh, tinalikuran lahat ng world and materialism. And ginaya ko siya. I really, really wanted to follow God like St. Francis. So I lived with the poor. Lived in a slum area when I was 15 years old. You know, giving away money. And I didn't want to have anything to do with money. And I think, you know, that, that by itself is admirable. But then looking back decades later, I realized that I had some religious beliefs that were distorted. For example, um, money is evil, uh, business is bad, and you know, you're going to think about money the whole day, and profit is bad, and all of that. Tapos lahat ng mga mayayaman, mga crooks, mga magnanakaw, mga smuggler. And uh, so all of that religious baggage, um, God had to transform at a certain point. And it took a while. I was 30 years old already when I became an entrepreneur. Uh, I think a little bit before at the age of 30, I, I, I realized that you know, I was going to get married pretty soon, maybe in two years' time. So I said, no, I don't have savings, I don't have investments, I don't know what to do with money. And when you have a child, You know, I, I realized that teka muna, I, it had, I had to do something. And, uh, but I could not move towards money, earning money, investing in money without changing those religious beliefs. So that, that's, that's, that had to happen. And uh, I had to read, I had to research, I had to talk to so many people. And there, I, I began to change. Very slowly, I began to change my religious paradigm towards money. And I realized that 
Ah, hindi pala evil ang pera. Ah, hindi pala evil ang profit. Ah, hindi pala evil ang business. They could actually be very holy um, if your purpose is right and if if you you make a decision that Jesus is Lord over your financial life. And so that had to change. God, boy, you came from the other end of the pendulum. Eh? Kasi di ba, imagine St. Francis, the love for poverty and all these things. You know, you weren't even the prosperity kind of preacher, di ba? Yung parang God will bless us and God will <laughs> make us abundant. So I can imagine the swing from one end of the pendulum to the other. I mean, that must have been like a, really a 180 degree turn. I mean, the kind of transformation that we we have as Christians, the by turning away from yeah. a life of pain and, and uh, you know and, and you know how did that how did that um you know uh, work in your brain or even in your spirit? Because as Christians, ah, uh, simply then jan yung ano eh, yung yung um wiring natin ang sinasabi, di ba? Parang uh, you know you cannot serve both God and Mammon, and then uh, you know you, uh, love of money is the root of all evil. So how did how did that you know itsy bitsy um you know transformation happen? How did you navigate that? I mean, like, did you have to completely throw away na parang, teka muna, stop muna ako mag-pray, tapos puro, puro stop muna mag ng Bible, tapos puro financial books, you know? How, how did that happen? Yeah, it, you know, what guided me was this, eh. so tama ka eh, I, ha- I had a poverty mindset. Talagang poverty mindset. Akala ko, to be close to God, you have to be poor. And I really thought that God will be more pleased if I was poor, because if I was poor, I was more dependent on him, etc. But then I was also very practical. So I was leading all these ministries for the poorest of the poor. Um, I lived in Anawim, our ministry for the abandoned elderly, for three long years, you know, starting it up, living in a Baha'i Kubo. During those three years, it was so real to me that money was important. You know, how could we feed the poor? How could we build more homes? Paano ba, you know, some of the some of these uh, old people that we pick up from the streets, kailangan ng hospital, kailangan ng gamot, and uh, ano ano gagawin ko? So I realized, wait a minute, I need number one. I I myself, I said to my I said to myself, ang ganda sana yung hindi ako hihingi lang, yung hingi ng hingi lang ng donations, pero ako mismo magdonate. So that was that was a first hurdle. The second thing was, teka muna, yung hinihingan ko ng donations, eh, mga negosyante. Tapos, kung sa isipan ko, if in my mind, I believe that business people are bad people, bakit ko sila hinihinga ng pera? You know, and, and so there was this, there was, I had to wrestle with that in my mind and I realized, no, these donors who really give so much money for the ministry so generously because they did well in their business, they did well in their investments. And I said, parang mali talaga yung iniisip ko mga religious beliefs. And so, I guess I guess to your to answer your question, how did I navigate from a poverty mindset into an abundance mindset? It was really the very practical need of the ministries. You know, I realized no, I need to change my mind or else these ministries will die. <laughs> and so I said, no, they, they had to keep on growing. And so there, that's what happened to me. So w- when that switch happened in your head um, and in your spirit, um, was it instant na parang, uy, now I have to earn money, you know, I have to be a, a businessman or I have to steward my gifts. Parang did the, did the you know, the multiplication, kumbaga, happen right away. I mean, how did you, you know, because sometimes, um, you know, like people look at you or people look at uh, other successful people and they think that the success happened overnight. Eh? Um, well, first, we know that the transformation in your head didn't happen overnight. But yeah. when it happened in your mind, I mean, did it instantly translate into your finances right away? No, not at all. Because, you know, like anything else, it's a skill. Money, handling money, managing money, multiplying money is a skill. And so like any ordinary skill, you know, ang unang sakay mo sa bisikleta, eh, mahuhulog-hulog ka ng konti. You don't ride the bicycle and then pupunta ako sa Baguio, you know, from Manila. You don't do that. But one day you can, you know, when you're already very, very good. 
after probably many months of practice and training. And so that's, I guess that's what happened to me, Risa, that uh, at the start, okay, I changed my mind, you know, slowly. And then, ah, okay, okay pala, okay, siguro mag-invest. Ah, okay pala yung insurance. Ah, okay pala yung negosyo. So little by little, and then I started practicing it, applying it in my life, making a lot of failures, making a lot of crazy, crazy, ay nako, mga mahabang kwento, pero so many failures in business, so many uh, failures in investments, but little by little, I began to learn. Of course, you know, I just want to thank uh, Joanne and Noel because uh, they, they were part of that financial journey. Uh, they really upped my game, leveled me up. Uh, I, I really thank God that I was able to meet them and there changed the dr- trajectory of my financial life. I know, Bo, that you you um, tried, you know, you doubled in different businesses and you, you've written that in your books, no? But I, I remember like, um, you know, I remember you went through this phase of uh, may motor oil pa, tapos meron pa. <laughs> Di ba? Parang uh, you went into, I, I know you went into MLM, uh, multi-level marketing and uh, real estate. Yeah. Yeah. Can, you, can you give us an idea of, sure. of uh, all the different businesses that you tried? And, and were you really trying, parang pinapasukan mo ba lahat? Yung parang, uh, were you really just trying to, to kumbaga nangangapa ka kung saan ka magaling? Yes, exactly. Nangangapa talaga. Because I, I came from zero. And so when, when I came, you know, when somebody comes from zero, no financial background, you know, you kind of like, what are other people doing? Gayahin natin. And I, I kind of like knew, wait a minute, will, you know, will this work? I, I, I don't know what I'm doing, but sige, you know, you, you come in with faith and then you pray. And so I remember one of my first businesses was uh, this selling of uh, a squid ball <laughs> and a hot dog stand and an ice cream scooper stand. So I put it in the calle, a squid ball stand, I put it in a uh, second second class mall, you know, and mas mura kasi, so put up a, a, a food stall there. Lahat yun bumagsak, you know, after, I remember seven months, I had to close everything because from day one, <laughs> I, I was losing money. And then every single day, I was bleeding. And, you know, ang laki-laki ng, ng lugi ko. Uh, and then I, I went into other things. I sold, I sold juice. I sold motor oil. I, I sold, you know, <laughs> all sorts of crazy things that I knew nothing about. And and I guess that was the one of the most important lessons for me was, uh, you know, you don't get into something that you know nothing about, and that was not your passion. So yeah, and little by little, I began to be. I, you know, it was so frustrating, losing money, losing time, losing my reputation. You know, my gosh! But uh, all of this, I, I look back now with a smile in my face because I, I tell myself I learned so many things, and it was really, really. Um, I think I will not be where I am today um, if I did not go through all those failures. Bo, okay. So you, you, um, in seven months, sabi mo, you, you uh, some, most of your businesses failed. Um, but meron ding mga tao na uh, kahit na wala sila masyadong alam, ba? Parang they succeed naman. Parang um, medyo tinagalan lang ng konti. Hindi kaya ano, parang how do you discern or how do you, um, how, how do you tell kung laban ba o bawe, di ba? Yung parang, parang, baka naman masyadong maikli lang yung seven months, you know? Baka dapat mas malalim lang yung gulsa or counting perseverance. I don't Probably. know, how do, you, how do you find, yeah, how do you find the, the, the right, you know, path? You know, one of my determination, determinants, if, 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 I, if I may use that word, was, is, is you know, the, the intersection between passion, potential, and peso. If you can combine those three elements, I think you will be in the right track. So first is potential. Are you good in that thing? At, and, and when I say potential, it's not as, as you know, as, as you said, baka naman uh, nag-fail ka dahil seven months, baka, baka may potential ka talaga. And if you keep on keeping on, eh baka gumalig ka rin sa food business. And, and you know what? Maybe the answer is yes. Maybe the answer is yes. And if I did not close that shop 
Who knows? I, I could have 36 food stalls right now. It's all possible, Risa. But there was one missing ingredient. It was passion. I had no passion. You know, I, I like to eat. But to actually be in the food industry, in the food business, um, not really my passion. Uh, my passion was elsewhere. And then peso. Peso is if you can monetize your potential and your passion. So the intersection between potential, passion, and peso more or less gives you a sign. It's a sign that maybe this is the path for you. And so you fail and you fail, but you stand up again and you stand up and you persevere and you endure because of the, of the yes, this is, I think this is where I am supposed to be. Wonderful. That that's yeah, no. Parang minsan kasi puro passion lang. <laughs> Iba maraming mga business, yung mga Meron. gustong, 'di ba? Cuz I yeah. I remember I I also wanted to be a business person. I mean, at at some point in my in my you know, business career life. But that's what well, that was also the same advice that a successful business um man friend of mine said. Sabi niya, ah, ay, sa kasi sa kasi Carlo, anong magandang business na, na map, ano, pwedeng pasukan? And he said, no, that's not the question to ask. He said, dapat, ano yung, ano yung hilig mo? Ano yung galing mo? Ano yung... And so I just realized, okay, so maybe the maybe business isn't for me. <laughs> Parang ganun, di ba? And I thank God that I asked him because, you know, if I had the money at that time, yung pangpuhunan, Tapos, you know, oy, di ba, itapon ko lang siya dyan. Kasi ka, feeling minsan ng mga ibang tao, basta may kapital ka, kakayanin mo kahit anong business eh, no? But uh, I'm right. hearing from you, boy, it's not. No, no. In fact, I cannot count, Risa, the number of people that I know who love to eat in restaurants and they think that their business should be a restaurant. And so they put it up. They actually put up a restaurant because they're sila sa restaurant and they're thinking of the food. They're thinking of, you know, ambiance and all of that. You know, both of us know running a restaurant is very different from cooking the food and, and <laughs> setting up the interior design of a restaurant. I mean, it is so absolutely different. And so, you know, passion is not, is not enough. Uh, maraming mahilig na kumanta na ang kantam hindi mahilig sa kanila. <laughs> Pero passionate sila. And I think, make it a hobby. Make it a, a, a way of relaxing at the end of your day. But don't make it a way to earn money. So there's got to be potential and passion. Combine that together. And then maybe you have a little more chances of winning. Yay! Okay, I'm going to break lang tayo for commercial at babalik tayo kasi medyo natamaan ako dun sa'yo, Bo, kasi I also had a restaurant which of course failed. <laughs> kasi kala ko pag mahilig ka kumain sa restaurant, pwede ka na magkaroon ng restaurant. <laughs> okay, magbabalik po ang Your Money Matters pagkatapos lang po ng ilang paalala. Love comes in many forms. But in times of trial and uncertainty, nothing spells love better than security, peace of mind, and hope for the future. For over 50 years, we have helped people express this four-letter word. So you can face life head-on and savor every moment it brings. Manila Banker's Life. The best way to show your love. Someday, you will get older. Slower. Grayer. But also, wiser. Calmer. And freer than ever. We help you prepare for those years ahead. So you can keep doing what you love with the people that matter the most. Prepare 
for your future today. Kaiser International Health Group, the first name in healthcare. Nagbabalik po tayo sa Your Money Matters at kasama po natin, the one and only, Brother Bo Sanchez. Ayan. Okay, Bo. Um, let's move on to the current businesses that you have now. Kanina, we talked about all the businesses that <laughs> where you failed in. But now you've settled upon, um, you know, I, I know that you still have a number, a handful of businesses. But they all revolve around, well, yes, as you've mentioned, your passions and, you know, your gifts. Um, you've uh, been, you know, uh, the face of stock market investing, I'd say, in the Philippines. And uh, so what, um, why the stock market, Bo? What, uh, is it still the most profitable, you know, for you, despite your varied portfolio now? It's not the most profitable risk, but I think it is the most basic and I will teach people that, you know, especially, let's say, with IMG, it, it, you know, we, we teach mutual funds. We, we teach equity funds. Um, so the, this, is, this is so easy to come into, to get into. You know, anybody who who's has regular income, may sueldo, may trabajo, can, can start investing in mutual funds. And so I, I teach this to everyone. And then if you want to, to be a little bit more sophisticated, then, then I'll teach you individual investments, individual stocks, you know? So, so there, and I think that every single person can actually get into this. Put it, put it this way, Riz. Um, many people cannot get into real estate. It's, it's a little bit more complicated, you know, to actually buy a property, that was put up in apartment and then have rental income. Um, not everybody can get into business. Some people just don't have the, the attitude and the, the paradigm and the mindset and the background. You know, they know. So, so there are some people not for real estate. There are some people who are not for, for um, business. But you know what? I think that everybody should be investing in either the mutual funds or, or the stock market. Because it's paper assets and it, it's, if we can only, you know, everybody puts their money in the bank or at least that's what we want. You know, marami pa rin ang bank. Pero, you know, um, understanding that it's, it's, it's something that's so basic that you can actually put your hard-earned money every month, set aside a certain amount instead of putting it in the bank. Why not put it with big, big companies, you know, become a part owner of these huge companies. Uh, through the stock market, either through mutual funds or individual stocks. And uh, that's been my crusade. That's been, I've been telling everybody about that for, for 15 years now. Uh, but Bo, we, we, we learned that 10% um, of people who invest in the stock market or, or who trade in the stock market lose money. So isn't the, the, the stock market kind of like a dangerous um, place to put your hard-earned money, especially like uh, in a time like a pandemic now when the market, um, you know, uh, really dove? But of course, we know that it, it's kind of climbing back up. But it, that volatility, parang hindi ba, uh, parang 90% of us will lose money, tama ba yun? 85% of people who put their money in the stock market lose their money. And the reason is really simple. Eight, most of those 85% are traders. And traders mm -hmm. are people who, who, who expect a quick earning. You know, they want to put their money now. Tapos kailangan tumaas siya within one week, one month, you know. And then their goal is after one week, one month, benta na. You know, so that's what they want to do. They want to make it like their own business. So they're, they're earning from their job. Tapos they're going to use the, they're going to trade the market. And that's why a lot of people lose their money. Because ako, what I teach people. Now, by the way, you can go into trading, but you'll have to have a lot of time. Babantayin mo yung market. Halos full-time ka dyan. You know, it, it's it's difficult. You have to study. And I recommend that you go to school to be able to learn. Hindi pwedeng tip-tip lang. Hot tip. Galing kay pinsan or galing sa isang office mate. You know, that's horrible. What we teach is not trading the market, but investing in the market. So when you're able to invest in a mutual fund, alam mo, Riz, na, naalala ko to eh. Some years ago, na naging uso 
yung UITF. And all the banks, you know, were, were selling the depositors. Kasi depositor mo yan, so may trust na yan. Sasabihin ng bank teller, Oy, miss, uh, or, or ma'am, you know, or sir, you know, get into this UITF, you know, and, and uh, kasi may quota sila, you have, they have to get that. But they never explained to, to the depositor na iba to, hindi to time deposit. Kasi ang time deposit or yung savings account may promised return. You know, at the end of the year, time deposit may, may 2% or may 3% a year kita, 4% kita. Pero etong etong UITF, um, this this is going to be they did not explain that this is an this is this goes up and down especially if you invest in the market and ay nako. So ang daming nalugi doon because when the market went down, uh, people panicked and they sold. And I, I always tell people, no, this is investing, this is not trading. What you do is you put your money in the stock market and uh, what happens is you, you, you put every month regularly if you can because, because what happens is, you know, you, you, whatever salary that you have, you set aside. Ako, tinuturo ko 20%. 20% of your income, you put into, the, into mutual funds or individual stocks and then you do that regularly. Um, peso cost averaging. When you're able to do that um, over time, and when I say over time, 10, 20, 30 years, um, you will see the fruit. My son started investing uh, when he was 10 years old, and then my other son when he was 5 years old. Today, both of them are millionaires. Yung, yung eldest ko, who's 21, he really appreciates the fact that right now he has 1.5 million. You know, he, wow. he, he says, he says Thank you, thank you, Dad. You know, um, you taught us early, and so of course, pag twenty one kana may plano plano kana, <laughs> so may plano na siya. You know how to how to you know the next steps of his future. So he's very grateful to me, and and so I say this to all the parents. You know, parents make you know teach your kids when they're young, and do it for them at the start. You know, you mga Christmas money nila. Yun ang ginawa ko eh, mga Christmas money galing kay Ninong at Ninang sa stock market muna. You know, wag, wag mo na yung mga laruan and uh, inexplain ko sa kanila. And, and you know, they, they got it. They really did. And so there, it's not trading, it's investing for the long term. So it's not timing the market, but it is time in the market. So when, when you understand that time in the market, you know, if, if your son is 10 years old, ituro mo na. Para pag 21 na siya, 22, 23, then he will start. He will thank you and appreciate you. Wow, kaya yung libro mo bo, no? The, uh, the turtle always wins. So kahit na mabagal, uh, but it's that that time that that's important, no? Um, so yes. is it is it still true in these turbulent times? I mean, slow but sure pa rin ba tayo dapat? Absolutely. In fact, uh, when you understand that you are not trading but investing, pag mababa ang market, dapat mas excited ka nag invest kasi you are going to a midnight sale. No, you're, you're able to buy cheap. And so when you're able to buy cheap, alam mo na one day, five years from now, ten years from now, aakyat rin yan. And so there, in this volatile market, um, pandemic, so bumaba yung stock market, sobrang baba. Ngayon, pataas na ng konti. Pero remember, and I say this to everybody, kasi people ask me, Bo, pataas na ba talaga? Okay na? Okay na? And, and I say, the stock market never, never goes up in a straight line. <laughs> so, umakit siya, bababa rin yan. Tapos, akit. But the general direction, I believe, is going up because, you know, uh, the vaccinations are, are getting, you know, 8%. Ilan na ba? 8 million ang Pilipino ang na-vaccinate na. So, dahan-dahan. Nag- Nakikita mo na eh. Konting, you know, some of the businesses that have been hard hit, uh, nagbubukas na, dahan-dahan. So, you know that the economy is getting to be alive. And so, yes, I believe that the long-term, uh, medium-term uh, direction of the stock market is going up. But it will never go up in a straight line. So, ang happy days pala sa market, Bo, is when things are low. 
I mean, when the, when, the, when the stock market um, uh, crashes or it goes down, no? you know, interesting because um, what you said was also something that uh, Rose Fres Fausto said uh, like two episodes ago. She said that it, it's not timing the market, but time in the market. And Absolutely. also that she, she also said that um, money is a very emotional uh, uh, emotional thing, you know, investing. And that's one of the things that I learned from you. Because when I started um, investing in the stock market, tapos, nung una akong nalugi big time, talagang, oh my God, nawala na ako ng ano, <laughs> ng gana mag, mag-invest, di ba? But really, yeah. you just reach a point na parang you're just kalyo. Parang alam yun, nakalyo ka na. <laughs> na kahit na laki-laki na ng loss mo, sige lang. It's the drudgery of investing, you know, that 20% or more every month. Every month, yung sinasabi mo ng um, peso cost um, averaging. And over time, yeah, really, it, it um, you know, it, it, it uh, rewards you, no? Absolutely. Galing. Absolutely. Okay, Bo, um, what other positive attitudes do we need to have in our financial life so that we can become truly rich? Ako, it will be it will be discipline and generosity. You know, I like to focus on those two. So, discipline, obviously, you know, understanding that you have to live a simple life and uh, not be extravagant. We teach that uh, never, never, <laughs> always live below your means. So that you you have you have some you know you can invest for the future. So that's number one. Just the discipline, the faithfulness, the consistency. That's that that we we need to preach every day. The second thing is generosity, because one of the things I realize about the purpose of wealth it, it's really to love other people. It's not for you. And so when you realize and when you own this, you embrace this. Ang layunin, ang purpose ng pera. Para magmahal, para mag, mag, maglingkod. You know, all of a sudden, money becomes something that's... You can be at peace with money. You can be at peace with millions, you know, because it's not for you only. Yes, it's a blessing that God gives you and you enjoy it. But then you, the, the greatest joy that you... And, and this is something that you, you, ha, you experience. is when you think of other people and their needs. Tapos tinutulungan mo sila. Man, you realize, ah, kaya pala ako binibless ni Lord para mag-bless ng iba. So, there. Now, let, let me, you know, before to maybe to, to give a complete answer to generosity. Generosity is very practical. For me, Risa, you know, when people ask me, why, why do you, you know, di ba okay ka na bo? Okay na yung mga investments mo? And I said, Yes. 20 years of investing, 20 plus years of investing, I can live on my interest. I really can. I can just sit down, relax, close all my businesses, go to an island, enjoy myself, you know, reading a book every day, sitting in a hum, hammock and, you know, enjoying life. I, I can actually do that with my wife and say, that's it, you know. I'm, I'm 55, it's over. I could have done that when I was, when I was 40 plus. But the reason why I work very hard with my businesses, you know, trying to find ways on how to grow, how to serve my customers more, how to look for new product lines, it's because of generosity. Because if I close my businesses now, I will not be able to help as much, as much as I want to. And, and that's what gives me joy. That's, my, that's why I wake up in the morning, so that I can help more people financially and otherwise. So there, generosity is very, very practical. It's, it's something that will give you fuel every day. It will give you purpose. Wonderful. Okay. So we're so, wow, we're so um, filled, not just in our financial life, but even in our spiritual life. We'll break lang po tayo for, a, for a commercial test. Magbabalik po ang Your Money Matters. Here at Kaiser Medical Center, we provide a wide array of preventive and curative medical care and diagnostics to individuals and companies all over the Philippines. Our strongly committed and experienced professionals are glad to provide excellent healthcare services, ranging from immediate quality medical care 
to consultations focused on health and wellness at all times. One of our in-demand services you can avail of is the COVID-19 RT-PCR testing. Whether you're an individual ensuring your family's safety or an employee complying with company health protocols and policies. Here are the services available at Kaiser Medical Center and our health branch locations nationwide. Our aim is to have a consistent, lifelong relationship with you by providing convenient, affordable, and quality health services in a happy, safe, and friendly environment. Because we value your health, our ultimate goal is to be your partner in health and wellness, even long after your visit with us. Kaiser Medical Center, your partner in health and wellness. Secure your life, empower your family's future with Fidelity Life. As a longtime dedicated partner of IMG, Fidelity Life stays true to the needs and dreams of every IMG campaigner, providing life insurance protection to its members and peace of mind to their families. Through its alliance with Everest Memorial Services, it allows the members to use their insurance benefit for their memorial plan up to the maximum life insurance benefit. Activate your membership today. Fidelity Life. True to your needs. True to your dreams. Nagbabalik po tayo sa Your Money Matters at kasama pa rin po natin si Brother Bo Sanchez. Ask the experts na po at ito po ang katanungan ng ating isang viewer. Sabi niya Bo, this is from Randy, he's 40 years old and an accountant. Sabi niya, I'm just starting my business and a lot of people are doing the same kind of business. My challenge is, how can I be a leader in this industry or how can I have an edge over my competitors? Wow. Wow, great, great question, Randy. The, the reason why I like your question is, you know, I, I get into an industry or I get into something and gusto ko sana ako yung leader dun sa aking niche, you know? If I cannot be a leader in my small niche, then maybe it's not for me. And then I look elsewhere. Kaya tama yung question mo, you know? But you cannot be a leader overnight. You cannot be the number one or number two spot in the in that in that little niche. When I say niche, hindi naman yung global. You know, you're the number one globally. Maybe you you can be the number one or number two in your neighborhood, or in your city, or whatever. Uh, but okay, na yon, you know. And I I really think that this will not be overnight, but something that we that that you have to keep on um, becoming better and better every day. If you grow. 1% a day, uh, you will be shocked how compounded interest <laughs> you, you will be able to be better every single day. I also believe that you, ho you have to connect with people who are the leaders in that industry and learn from them either virtually or personally. Virtually, you know, look for their books, look, look for their podcasts, look for their videos and, and just be an ardent student. Uh, of that of that business of that industry and then the second thing is maybe you can you can actually touch base and connect with the leaders of that industry and then you know treat them treat them for lunch and get to get you know pick their brain so you have to always constant you know constantly really become become this this sponge where where you absorb the what are the best practices what's coming down the road you know, do, do not go where the puck is. Go to where the puck is going. Uh, Wayne Gretzky said that super superstar hockey player. Same thing in business. If you want to be the leader in your business, the number one, number two spot, you know, tingnan mo, san, san papunta yung industry? Tapos pag-aralan mo na, doon ka pumunta. And yeah, may, you know, it will be difficult and, and maybe some people will laugh at you, but you know, you go there. So there, those are, those are my answers. Um, it's a great question, uh, but there, look for a mentor, 
and then look towards the future and but you know in all this randy yung balikan ko yung sagot ko kanina you know be sure that it 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 aligns with the intersection of your potential your passion and peso Ang ganda-ganda namang sagot non. Thank you, thank you, Bo. Busog na busog yung aming uh, hindi lang kaisipan, kundi pati yung puso at kaluluwa. So, thank you so much, Bo, for sharing uh, with us your time and your wisdom. Any last words before we say goodbye? Thank you, Riza. I, I really believe that the movement that IMG has uh, started many, many years ago and has helped thousands of people I, I really believe in this crusade. I really believe in this advocacy. And uh, I, I really wish more people will join this movement and help the country lift it up. And together, we can bless the world. Amen. Thank you again, Bo Sanchez. At ang katanungan mo ay maaaring katanungan ng karamihan. Kaya't padalhan nyo lang kami ng inyong mga questions dito sa yourmoneymatters.ph at gmail.com. And we've come to the end of our show, but remember, financial education ay nako, hindi yan pwedeng nandito lang. Kailangan pumunta sa puso at lumabas sa ating buhay. One last word from Proverbs 10, 21. The blessing of the Lord makes rich and He adds no sorrow with it. O, di ba? So, as we pursue our financial literacy journey and grow in our wealth, let's not forget that all these are blessings from our God. Siya ang nagpapayaman sa atin, hindi lang pang financial, kundi sa iba't ibang areas ng ating buhay. So, till our next episode, I'm Risa Singson Kaupeng. See you again next week because your money matters. Bye! A brand new iPhone Pro Max 12 with these four easy steps. Step 1. Subscribe to IMG YouTube channel. Step 2. Click the notification bell. Step 3. Share one episode of Your Money Matters on Facebook and tag three friends using the hashtags hashtag IMG Your Money Matters, hashtag I am great iPhone 12 Pro Max giveaway, hashtag IMG official channel. Step 4. Visit img-corp.net slash iPhone 12 Pmax and fill out the giveaway registration form. The lucky winners will be raffled during the live premiere of the last episode of Your Money Matters Season 3. Watch and share this with your family and friends now to get a chance to win. Good luck! We would like to thank our sponsors. Learn the secret to saving and building your future. Become your own financial educator through IMG, International Marketing Group, your total financial solution. May Kaiser para sa'yo, kahit maputi na ang buhok mo. Kaiser International Health Group, the first name in healthcare. Seguridad ng buhay at proteksyon para sa mga minamahal. Manila Bankers Life Insurance Corporation. The best way to show your love. Nangungunang kaagapay mo sa kalusugan. Kaiser Medical Center, your partner in health and wellness.